Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to teach you how to change the SIM card or the GSM cellular card inside a Garmin Nuvi 1690. Now Garmin Nuvi 1690 connects with the cellular network to get you uh, live traffic information, um, uh, local events, flight information if you're going to the airport. All kinds of information are provided through a wireless uh, cellular, cellular network and that's why it has a SIM card inside. The original SIM card which came from Garmin was a uh, uh, AT&T SIM card but you could change it to a newer AT&T SIM card or other uh, networks that support are supported by this Garmin. So the this particular unit provides uh, the following information uh, such as uh, let me go back to the such, such as flight status, uh, you know, live events. If you go here, currency, current currency uh, rates. And uh, if you go back and you go to where to, and then you have all these little local events and you have movie times. Uh, all these things are provided w with a SIM card that's inside the unit. And now we are learning how to change that SIM card if that SIM card is no longer supported. If you notice, this one is the satellite signal, sh shows no satellite signal, and this is the ce cellular network signal, which is also with a cross without any cellular network. The reason for that is because the SIM card that's inside this unit is no longer supported. We, you need to go to the AT&T store or any store that supports the uh, uh, Garmin. I believe it's AT&T. Most likely what's inside is AT&T, but it, I could be wrong and have them replace the SIM card. This does not take the micro SIM card, it takes the standard size. So here is how we replace it. Undock the GPS from the, its dock and turn it off. Once you turn off the GPS, you turn it around and remove these little stickers. Okay, remove these little stickers, just a little bit, so you can reveal the, the screw there, all right? Gonna remove the second one too. There are two screws on two edges. Now we simply open these screws. Let's see, is this the right size screwdriver? I believe this is too big. I'm going to get a smaller one. Okay, so the right size is T5 like all the other garments. Okay, so we are opening this. All right, now it sim simply opens up, but you have to be very careful. Very careful because the there's a very skinny cable right there. There's a very skinny cable, and you're going you're going to break that cable. So you have to be very careful, very gentle. Now it is not that simple. It's a little bit difficult to open, but you know, not impossible. This is a dull knife, not, not a sharp one. It's just the last edge that's holding on. There you go. So, see there is a flat ribbon cable and this cable and that is uh, this is the SIM card let me unplug this is the microphone this is the flat uh, video ribbon cable let me get this thing um, this is the microphone this is the flat video cable and this is where the SIM card is so to replace it it's simple you know you slide it out and you slide a new one I'm gonna 
they put this on, on in an angle because the reflection from here will make the camera automatically go dark so now I'm going to put let's say this is a replacement I'll push it back in voila now if the newer sim cards are smaller then they will give you an adapter that you can put here and it will match so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put back the screen and be careful this chrome um, uh, plate I mean chrome frame is separate this is separate so make sure that doesn't fall off and now I'm going to first I'm going to put the microphone cable that's how the microphone cable goes right there now I'm going to zoom in because this is critical my friend this is very critical as I'm putting the this is critical how to put this in okay so the way you do this is you see that right there oh my god there's too much reflection coming from this let me okay you push that up I pushed it up once you push it up you slide this in all the way in as much as it goes there so slide it all the way in so that it doesn't go in anymore basically all the shiny section the, sh the shiny uh, part goes in you don't barely see the shiny part now you put this down again the black tab you put it down now it's holding the cable and then you close it zoom out before I recommend plug it in to make sure you get good power on the screen before you uh, disconnect so there you go the screen turned on I get power so that means like the cable was plugged in properly and now I'm gonna unplug it snap it back in place all around snap all around turn off and you put back these two screws And then you simply put these back in place. Their stickiness should be good enough to, you know, stay there. But you could put a little bit of glue if it doesn't stay there. And now we are back in business. Now, when you go to the AT&T store and you want to activate this, and they are asking you what's your SIM number or you know SIM ID, what and what have you, in order to activate it for you. This is how you can tell what the SIM number is. You go on the main screen and you see where that signal is. You press and hold that. Don't let go. Press and hold it right there. Press and hold. Just press and hold. And voila. And here's your IMEI number and SIM number and what have you, whatever the AT&T store will need in order to activate your SIM card and have the unit up and running all right i hope this was educational please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching